How's everyone doing today? Guys, I'm not going to lie to you. I went to bed last night with a feeling that I haven't felt in a while. <laughs> and let's just say that today has to be a good day on this account. Because if it's not... Okay, let me explain it to you. So, I go through like really, really weird phases, right? And right now, I'm not going to lie to you. We're in the wanting to achieve greatness phase, right? So now you might be saying, what does that even mean? Let me explain. The problem is, right, that a lot of you might be thinking, oh, bro, like, why don't you just play on your Doanel account or your Dantes account, right? But the thing is, I can't. And the reason why is because right now, when it comes to streaming, I love having, like, a goal, you know? And if I play on my Doanel or my Dantes account, I know that the most that those champion that those accounts could hit would be like, let's say challenger, right? But they wouldn't be able to go past challenger because the MMR is too bad. So the thing is right now, I'm in my transfer mentality because I say, okay, if I want to go crazy, I need to have a crazy account. But hear me out. <laughs> I know that yesterday we transferred the Tarzan Korea account, right? But the problem with the Tarzan Korea account was that it went 7 win 7 loss, and I can never log into that account again because of it, right? So that's why what we have to do is today I woke up and I transferred another account literally as soon as I woke up just to give myself the motivation to want to play, okay? But the problem is that if this account goes bad and it ends up being like dark, then the issue is that I'm just going to resign myself to just saying, okay, you know what? I'll just get fucking Challenger on Doanel and Challenger on Dantes before going for Korea, right? But the thing is that I don't just want to be the guy that can hit Challenger. Like, like I know that if I were to play on those accounts for two weeks, they would both hit Chow, right? Like, guaranteed. But it's like, it's not good enough for me. So I think what we're going to do is today we're going to take this account and I'll make it an account where it's like, if it's a Conquer Hecarim game, I'll dodge. If it's like, all my champions are bad, I'll dodge. It's like, it might go a little crazy, I'm not going to lie to you, but we'll have to see. <laughs> I woke up this morning, and the only person I could talk to was Stevens, because, like, Stevens is literally the only guy ever that would, would like, take transfers to the level that I do, you know what I mean? Stevens, I'm like Darkwing Jax, but Darkwing doesn't play anymore. So yeah, I don't know, it's just like, I DM'd Stevens, and St Stevens was like, bro, I haven't even streamed in two weeks, because I've just been looking at my notepad, trying to find the account, you know what I mean? Part two? No, it's part three, bro! So the first transfer arc was two years ago, okay? About, uh, a little less than two years ago, actually. And that was, like, the final transfer arc. But then the problem is, that... Then we had a second transfer arc, right? But the problem is that the second transfer arc was one of the darkest timelines ever, and a lot of you probably don't remember it. But the second transfer arc was actually during my doobly purple phase. And in the first final transfer arc, I spent about, I think, like, two grand on transfers. During the doobly purple arc, I think it was 2.5 grand. I'm not even kidding you. It was that bad. But it's like a lot of you forgot about it because you weren't watching me back then because of how dark it was. So now it's like we're at part three. But I think part three might actually be good. Because the good news is it's only the second account I transfer. It's like, and, and there's still like that two-week cooldown. Back then, bro, it's like they had no cooldown. It was so fucked up. So fucked up. Yeah, yeah we're going to level one and invade this. Perfect. I knew that going for level 1 invade would be really good this game because you have Draven Pike level 1. It's like Draven Pike level 1 versus their comp. 100% we do that. They don't just since resend them full clear towards bot 2. I mean, the good news is that I subbed good last night and I had like a good workout today. I think what I need to do, by the way, I know why I played so inconsistently yesterday. Yesterday it's because I ate like shit in the morning and I also took caffeine. Hold on. <laughs> nice one, bro. <laughs> I guess she wasn't spamming her smite fast enough. <laughs> like, what? 
So that's why today I took it differently. I didn't take any caffeine at all today. And not only did I not take any caffeine, but I also, uh, I only ate four eggs this morning. Yesterday I had like a slice of pie for breakfast. Like, I don't know what the fuck I was doing. I was gonna say maybe I go for mid gang, but only I hit level four off this. Yeah. I don't know why I piked back to off. Wait, what? <laughs> why did they do that? I mean, she just shoved this wave in and if it tries, like, catching it, then we kill him. Bro, tell me how you guys get on that. <laughs> and we get a stupid... <laughs> I mean, I guess having the name Best Hecarim World doesn't, like, help, you know? Fuck this. <laughs> oh my god. I guess maybe I could even look for an Alawi gank here. But, I mean, do I really want to gank Alawi? What the fuck? I mean, the only way they win this is if she flashes for me. Nice. Perfect. I mean, I knew the second kill came in that we would be able to win that. Okay, what I actually could do here is we'll just go Raptors and then grab Krugs. I hit six off this, so maybe I don't even need a reset. Maybe we just go straight Balkang? I mean, I have ult up. This should be good. I could just go for Dragon, but I think my better play is to reset and then go straight for uh, Herald after... Bye. Adontas, why do you have a shirt on? You know, I actually don't know the answer to that. I just woke up this morning and I didn't feel like wearing a tank top. Maybe I try mid gank? Okay, while we have Snowy, I just need to wait for it to expire. Oh, wow. I can actually kill her here. Perfect. Mm, I mean, we got a flash down. That's like whatever. Okay, we just stopped on held and I full crit wars bomb. My ult's gonna be up and then we insta kill the ball line. She has no flash. Yeah, you're literally just said. <laughs> Got the kill too. It's over. Alright, well the good news is we have a hard winning jungle, hard winning bot. Our top laner is also winning. Mid laner is losing, but I mean losing versus Lawi with our, with the comp we have it doesn't even matter. Cause Draven and Kill can both deal with her. Wait, how do <laughs> Uh, I kill. I guess Larry just gets a double shot on ball in. That's not good. You know what? I'm gonna use my ghost right now. Use E now. And now I can keep Q socks when she's done. Perfect. You know what? I just even cover this with Pike. Pawn. If they walk here, they're gonna walk through here. Kill her on Gromp. Nice. Yeah. Mmm. At least this guy can mid we kill her with Aurelia. She doesn't have stopwatch. Spider that. Alright, nice. Now I can just get reset off and then we just grab Jackthar. But do I want to get Jackthar or would I rather get Mirror Mana? Now versus that comp, I have to go Eclipse. So you know what? Since I'm going to go Eclipse, I'll do Mirror Mana Rush. Because the thing is, normally you want to build for like power spikes, right? And the thing about this game, there's no objective coming up in the next few minutes, so my Man Moon's going to be complete by then. 
I'll probably just full clear my bot side and then we'll look for a Herald play mid and then full clear top side. And then since at least Red is respawning soon, I can probably go for something there. If we win this, if we want to win this game, we just ignore Lawi. Literally, the game is just in one if I ignore her. Okay. Blue Gromp, we take Crab and then invade Red. No, I have so much cancer. At least Marsha can test him on this, but if she does, I kill her. Wait, where is she? Are you can try for mid gang? Kill us, alt! Perfect. Alright, so now I just got Eclipse. I'll sit on double long sword and. But I want to get third item. <laughs> I don't think Cassandra is happy about matchmaking. Diamond Hard Sock versus Challenger One Trick. <laughs> We're still out our ult. Perfect. Oh, they actually surrendered? Nice. Alright, so the good news is this account is off to a good start at Cassandre's expense. But it's chill. <laughs> Wait, Aurelia knows. She knows that it's gonna be a YouTube video. It's over. Place pot 4. Just place pot 4. Nice. That's what I wanted. So if we can, like, at least, at least 7-3, the account starts uh, D4. So we need 7-3 this shit. But the good news is I'm feeling good today. Like, I'm actually feeling really, really good. <laughs> Great game. Do you think he meant that? Yes. I don't think he was tilted at all.